Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV. Thanks for watching. I'm Shannon, and today we'll be taking a look back at Venom Along Came a Spider number one from January of 1996. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so as I said, this is a review on the 1996 issue of Venom, Along Came a Spider, number one, written by Larry Hama and Evan Skolnick, with art by Joe St. Pierre and Patrick Searcher. This story takes place shortly after the Planet of the Symbiotes miniseries, and almost immediately after Peter Parker turned over the mantle of Spider-Man to Ben Riley. Ben, who at the time was thought to be the original Peter Parker, with the Peter who we had been following for so long being the clone. Ben Riley has been cruising as Spider-Man, so of course it was only a matter of time before he faced down one of the wall crawler's greatest foes. Venom busts Anne out of prison, and Ben is the only one that can stop him. Venom has returned from the symbiote planet and has been hiding out, lurking in the deepest regions of the Earth biding his time to return to New York. The first thing he does after making his way back home is try and contact his ex-wife, who had also recently become host to the Venom symbiote for a short time. However, she's in protective custody, and the cops are using her to try and draw Venom out. When she answers the phone and calls Venom Edward, he knows something's up, and sends part of his symbiote through the phone line to find out what's going on. The symbiote, while still connected to Eddie Brock, also bonds temporarily with his ex-wife Anne. This, however, has an unintentional effect. The two become linked mentally due to their joined bond with the symbiote. Both Anne and Eddie discover that they now know everything the other does, every thought, and it's pure euphoria. Shortly after, Venom manages to gain access to his ex-wife and leave with her. They come into conflict with Spider-Man, who's convinced he can finish what his predecessor wasn't able to. And that's bringing Venom to an end. The backup story in this issue is Hybrid Phase 1, which tells about the origins of the symbiotes who would later go on to become hybrid. But that's not what I'm reviewing today. Today, I'm only giving my review on Venom Along Came a Spider number 1. Honestly, I feel this story is very much a product of its time. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of the Spider-Man clone saga, as well as the Ben Riley Spider-Man and Eddie Brock Venom, Lethal Protector. But the art style on this issue is very subpar, and almost cartoony in my opinion. Eddie Brock is portrayed almost as being very stupid, at least when it comes to his personal life. But when it comes to infiltration and battle, he's very capable. The fact that Ben spends most of this issue thinking to himself, explaining to the reader about the Clone Saga and how he would deal with Venom, is very bland. That type of commentary, I think, should be left to the description boxes rather than coming from thought clouds, as is portrayed in this story. Eddie's ex-wife, Anne, is also depicted very naive, legally speaking, even though she's a lawyer, and the police force seems very incapable. I mean, it's no wonder New York City needed multiple superheroes through the 90s. Its police department were as oblivious as Kelly Bundy. The cover art for this issue is incredibly deceiving as it portrays the two characters very epically, artistically speaking. It's just a really nice eye-catching cover, but then when you look inside, the artwork is extremely cartoonish, and the story is very disappointing. I really wanted to like this story, guys, since I'm such a big fan of the Clone Saga, Ben Riley Spider-Man, and Venom Lethal Protector, but sadly, I just can't recommend this issue for anything other than to see what happened to Venom after Planet of the Symbiotes and the origin of Hybrid. I think I'll probably rank this issue 3 out of 10 stars, as I feel it didn't really capture the truth of the characters and painted them all in a very bad light. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. I'm Shannon for Comic Eden TV. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. 
hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Comic Again, where all geek culture collides.